Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba and welcome to the dive brief. In today's comparison video, I'm comparing the Shearwater Peregrine dive computer to the new Aqualung i330 dive computer. And the reason why is because these are both aimed at recreational divers. They're both color screen dive computers, relatively large screen dive computers with rechargeable batteries. So they're both kind of sitting in the same kind of category. Which one's better? Let's take a closer look. Okay, so I pulled up all of their stats. They're over here, so I'm going to refer over to these uh, from time to time. So starting off, starting off with the cost. So how much do they cost, and how do they compare? So the i330R is at the moment it has a recommended retail price of three hundred and fifty nine. Um, so that is recreational territory. That's fine for a color screen. That's actually very fine for a color screen dive computer. The Peregrine at the moment sits with a recommended retail price of about $450. So the Peregrine is the more expensive option. Um, but there are a few reasons why we're going to delve into that, especially when we look at the accessories that come with it. So looking at the screen size, the first thing that we're comparing is the screen size. So as you can see here, obviously the Peregrine has a larger screen size. This is 2.2 inches uh, diagonally across, uh, which is approximately... 58, 59 millimeters uh, diagonally, whereas the i330R is a little bit smaller. Um, so this sits at about, call it 35 mil across, which is about 1.6 inches. So slightly larger screen, and as you can see, it can the uh, the Peregrine can fit more information on the screen all at one time. But as far as clarity of the screen goes, they're kind of level pegging. I can't see a great amount of difference in the clarity, uh, even when this one switches off. Um, so you can still see exactly what's going on. And because it's color coded as well, just makes your life a lot easier to try and understand what's going on. Uh, if things start changing color, it really does uh, sort of intuitively let you know sort of what's going on. So as far as the screen goes there, um, I'd kind of give the edge to the Peregrine, bigger screen, but if you don't want a larger dive computer on your wrist, then you have the option of the i330R. As far as battery life goes, um, so they both claim 30 hour battery lives. Uh, I haven't managed to, uh, to test this myself. Um, I'm just going purely on what the, uh, the manufacturers have claimed. So as far as battery goes, yeah, it's kind of level pegging. I imagine because larger screen, but larger body means it's got a larger battery. So it's got a bigger drain, but it's got a bigger battery. So they kind of even out. Looking at in the box, this is where things start to change up. So with the i330R, what you get inside of the box, you get the USB charging cable, uh, which is magnetic, so you can recharge it. You get the usual user manuals and warranty information, but that's about it. With the Peregrine, however, you get an actual uh, sort of reusable box, one of these uh, like EVA cases. On the inside of here, you have a few tools, some uh, sort of replacement bits and bobs. You get the charging. It's sort of a cradle. It just sort of sits on top of it. You also get a change of strap. So you can change it from a silicone strap to a bungee strap, uh, a screen protector, the uh, Aquil on the i330R, the screen protector is already fitted, so uh, you don't have to fit it. Uh, this one is sort of optional, it's inside of the box, so you can fit it to the Peregrine if you want. Um, so I think that's one of the reasons why the Peregrine is a bit more expensive, because you get a few more extras inside of the box. The, uh, the Aqualung is a bit more Spartan, you get the, you get the user manuals, you get the, uh, the USB charging cable, but that's kind of it. Look at more of the specs. So maximum depth between the two, the uh, the i330R has a maximum depth of 100 meters, which is deeper than I'm going to go. So that's fine. Uh, the Peregrine is 120 meters. 
similar thing for recreational diving, who it's really aimed at. That's deeper than most divers are going to go anyway, so they're kind of moot. Uh, the O2, the nitrox settings that you can fit them to, uh, they both are 21 to 100% oxygen, so they're level pegging there. As far as alarms go, the I330R has an audible alarm, so it's going to bleep at you when you do something wrong. The Peregrine does not have an audible alarm, but what it does have is a hepatic, a vibration alarm. So this, uh, which the IQ30 doesn't. So this is a sort of a modern shift. Uh, if you've been diving a lot, you'll notice that, especially at key depths, you suddenly start to hear a, a chorus of beeps under the water from everybody's dive computers. So having a relatively silent alarm is quite nice. It means that I know that I'm not disturbing everybody uh, by just sort of checking on my dive computer. So. I quite like that vibration alarm compared to an, an audible beep because in the water with sound traveling, you're not entirely sure if it's your dive computer or whether you're just sort of hearing your buddy's dive computer. Whereas if something is vibrating on your wrist, you know it's your dive computer trying to get your attention. Then moving on to different modes. So the i330R has dive, uh, it also has gauge, but it also has free dive, a kind of an, uh, an apnea mode, um, whereas the Peregrine doesn't have that free diving mode. So if you like to do your snorkeling and you want to sort of measure your dives down, then the i330R is kind of, you need to be leaning more towards that. As far as logbook goes, the I330R, so that's logging up to 24 dives, uh, whereas the Shearwater Peregrine is measuring it in 20, uh, sorry, 200 hours of dive time. So it has a bigger memory, um, whereas the, the I330R just does it per dives. 24 dives is quite a good week's worth of diving if you're going on a liverboard, um, but 200 hours, that's quite a lot of dives. And then all that happens is that once it reaches memory full, it just starts to overwrite the, uh, the previous or the, the oldest dive. So all you have to do is just download it anyway. Downloading your dives from both of these dive computers is very easy. They both have Bluetooth built into them. They both have apps. With the Aqualung, you have the Diver Log Plus app, which is very easy to use. You can actually change the settings on the dive computer from your phone or tablet. So that's often actually quite easier to do than doing it through the menu structure itself. Itself. You just do it on the app and then hit sync and that updates everything. But you can also download your logged dives onto your smartphone and then share them as well. Shearwater has the Shearwater Cloud app, which again is very user friendly, pretty easy to get used to. You can download the dives and then you can analyze all the information. Heading back to displays, as much as they look very similar, they're technically different. The Peregrine is a classic LCD display, a uh, liquid crystal display, whereas the uh, the display on the i330R is an IPS, which is a slightly newer version. Um, but from a layperson's perspective, there's not a huge amount of difference. I think technically you can see it at slightly greater angles, um, but for most people, you're not gonna to notice too much of a difference. Wireless air integration, neither of these have wireless air integration. Um, there are some sections on the, uh, the Aqualung website um, which claim that it does. Unfortunately, I've confirmed with Aqualung that it does not. Uh, the Shearwater has never claimed to be, um, so neither of them do wireless air integration. The strap option, so you have on the Aqualung, you have one strap option, which is this nylon uh, webbing strap, nice and long. So if you're wearing it over a dry suit, very, very strong and secure. The Peregrine has two options straight out of the box. You get this silicone strap, uh, which is very similar to the NATO style strap, but uh, with sort of fixing points. The fixing points can be removed and that allows for a bungee strap, which comes with it in the box that you saw earlier. Um, personally, I like a bungee strap because it just adjusts for the compression of my wetsuit or dry suit. Um, but I am a fan of the classic NATO strap because they're very, very strong and reliable and because you don't have these uh, sort of bolts, you have fewer failure points, basically. You do have spring bars that you can remove yourself. They're pretty easy. You don't need tools to do it. So you can replace that strap. Personally, I kind of like that, uh, that the Peregrine gives you that choice of bungee strap, um, but I'd be perfectly happy using the NATO star strap as well. 
Neither of them come with a compass, uh, a built-in digital compass or an analog compass that you can see. Um, so yeah, you need an analog compass, but for most recreational blue water dives, as long as you can see where you're going, then not having a compass or at least strapping a compass next to it shouldn't be too much of a big deal. Okay, so which one is better, the i330R or the Peregrine? Well, full honesty, I still haven't decided because they both tick all of the boxes that I could possibly want for a recreational dive computer. They're both really easy to use. They both have their sort of features. I'm sure, the Aqualung is about $100 cheaper, but in the, the extras that you get with the, the Peregrine, like the, the hepatic, that vibration feature, and the, the, sort of the case that it comes in, they are just that little bit nicer. Is it worth that extra $100? I don't really know, to be honest, because for most divers, the i330R is all you're ever going to want or need. Uh, as far as an upgrade, yeah, the vibration feature is nice. I'm sure, the sort of the different mounting options for the uh, for the Peregrine is quite nice. Um, but for for most scuba divers, for most recreational divers, it's not particularly necessary. It's one of those things. It's nice if you have that extra hundred dollars and you want to go for something that I feel is just a little bit nicer. Uh, as far as the finish goes, um, there's a bit more flair and style on the Peregrine. You've got these blue details, whereas the Aqualung is a bit simpler. Um, it's it's not that it's an ugly dive computer or anything. It's very simple. It's nice and smooth. Um, as far as like the depth of the dive computer, they're actually pretty much exactly the same. I measured it earlier, and that is about exactly the same as the thickness of this section. So there's very little in it to compare them and specifically say, well, this one's obviously much better. Um, which one would I personally go for? Money was no object. I'd go down the Shearwater route, uh, just because you've got that larger screen that can have a bit more information on it all at the same time. But there's no reason why I wouldn't dive with the i330R. It's, it ticks all of the boxes and it has everything that I'd need as a recreational diver. Um, so yeah, I suppose the Peregrine wins, technically. Um, but for most divers, if you're not too worried about audible alarms and different mounting options, then the i330R wins. It's um, it's pretty hard because they are very level pegging. If you're doing it purely by price, then obviously the i330R wins. Um, but if you like all those extra little touches, then yeah, maybe it's worth upgrading to uh, to the Peregrine. It's, it's tricky. I'm kind of going to leave it up to you guys um, because for me, there's there's not enough to specifically say yes you should go down this route uh, you should go for that dive computer because they are pretty similar um let us know down in the comments below i mean is that 100 dollars? is it worth upgrading to the sheer water in your view uh let us know down in the comments below r330r is pretty new it's been around for a little while in different areas uh but it's kind of it's just hit this uh, this zone and yeah, it's a smart little dive computer. Let us know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. There's going to be more information about these uh, these computers on our website, uh, and you can check these out. They're available on simplyscuba.com. There's going to be links down in the description below. Thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving.